Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today I feel like it's a very important video because we're talking about mental health here in 2022, mainly coping skills. And I feel like we are dealing with a lot of mental health struggles, especially with the pandemic and just in general mental health is quite a battle. So I have found some coping skills that I've learned from group therapy and regular therapy that help me a lot. So I thought I would share them with you and we would talk about it. That's what this video is going to be about. So I also wanted to add that you guys are going to see what happened yesterday. I had quite a bad mental health day yesterday and I wanted to show you guys that side of what happens me talking about it and me working through some of my skills to try to push through it until I could see my therapist this morning and I'm gonna talk to you guys about what happened what I gained in my therapy session that's today you know the drill like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications of when I upload and let's start the discussion It is February 2nd and it's 12.40. I wanted to talk to you guys because, you know, you see all sides of me. I talk about mental health and physical health and everything. And I felt like I, I wanted to show you a day where I'm struggling, especially because a lot is going to happen in between now and, and when, if I even show you guys this, when you will see it. I, I have group therapy in 20 minutes and I see my regular therapist tomorrow which is Thursday when you guys may be seeing this part so I, I, I don't I don't even know I, I'm having a really rough day I've been in bed all day and I just I don't normally I know what's causing my feelings when I'm in a depressive state or or really anxious but I just I don't know what it is right now I all I know is I feel like I, I'm just trying so hard to find reasons to just continue through I just don't understand why I'm grasping so hard when I just feel like I'm not worth it When I feel like I try my skills that I've learned and I just end up zoning out through them. I guess I'm showing you this because some of you out there may be struggling and, and I talk so much about mental health and I, I guess I wanted to show you guys that what my days are like when I'm, I'm struggling really bad and when I do I get anxious really bad and I just want to cry and I, I feel like nothing nothing helps and I don't feel like talking to anybody because I, what am I supposed to say that's the thing I, I never understood that like what I'm supposed to go for help but, but what am I supposed to say I just I don't even know if I'm going to show you guys this Okay, you guys, I just got done with group therapy and it helped a little bit. It reminded me that being numb, you're out of touch with reality and in, in yourself. You're, it's like you're on autopilot and you need to be in the present moment in wise mind to do your coping skills. And so when you're numb, that is hard. And I, I think that's why I'm having a lot of trouble with my skills because when you're numb you're you're not in the emotional mind you're in reasonable mind where you're not thinking emotionally you're you're doing fact you're doing objective things not being run by emotions you're, you're shut off to emotions so wise minds in between the two and that's what I need to do so I think what I'm going to do now is 
I didn't push myself to do effective things. Like, I actually really try right now and, and get myself out of this. Like, I, I think I'm going to just go take a shower along. And then I think I'm going to meditate and paint my nails. And while I'm painting my nails, I'll listen to my positive music playlist that I created to see uh, how that works for tonight until I can see my therapist. I will bring you guys along. So the first thing we're going to do now that I'm showered is meditate. And I always use these patchouli incense sticks because they are very calming to me. And the scent I really like. So this is what it looks like. And I have this little uh, incense holder and it goes right in the middle of the flower and it burns. So let me light it. So shaky. Yay, anxiety. There it is. Now I'm going to listen to a guided meditation off my phone and just relax and hope that brings my anxiety level down and enough for painting my nails and distracting with my music, positive music playlist to help. going to paint my nails and listen to the positive music playlist I created and I'm gonna go purple got the positive music playlist up see if I can get out of this I don't even know what it is so yesterday was a really rough day for me as you saw and I feel like it could have been a mix of a few things it could have been just forgetting to take my meds, it could just be my BPD, it could be just anything really. And I, as you saw, really pushed myself to do my skills and not wallow in my sadness, my depression. And it, it helped, it got me to a stable mental health state until I could see my therapist this morning. and. In group therapy, it helped me a lot what I saw yesterday and what I talked to you guys about yesterday, that when you are numb emotionally, you are cut off emotionally from the world. You are on autopilot, you're, you're not thinking emotionally, you're thinking rationally by the facts, by just that. And speaking to my therapist, I learned that I'm going to have days like this. We're not always going to have good days. And that's what I want to tell you guys, that it is okay to have bad days. You're going to. You're not always going to have good days. That's just not possible. And you just have to understand and accept, yes, I'm having these emotions. It's okay to have these emotions, to have this upset, sad, depressive day, but still work on getting out of it. Don't stay there, you know? Get up and stand up from it, you know? Everybody has it. So let's talk about coping skills. I wrote down some coping skills and I want to tell you why I feel like they are really good for you and maybe they will help you. So grounding is one of my favorite techniques and it's the first one we are going to talk about. This skill has helped me so much, especially with my PTSD whenever it comes out and I'm having essay flashbacks or nightmares or anything to do with my PTSD. If it's during those months, I use grounding. If I'm dissociating anxiety, if I'm not in the present moment, I use grounding and it helps so much. So pretty much what grounding is, is using mental distractions to help redirect your mind away from distressing feelings 
and bring you back to the present moment. And there are some things you can do like walking barefoot, wrapping yourself in a blanket, breathing, playing a memory game, thinking categories. You can recite something, use math and numbers. You can make yourself laugh. And there are five techniques that I'm going to read to you here. Number five, acknowledge five things you see around you. Number four, acknowledge four things you can touch around you. Number three, acknowledge three things you hear. Number two, acknowledge two things you can smell. And number one, acknowledge one thing you can taste. And I will link that in the description box down below. The next skill we are going to talk about is the please skill. Now the please skill is pretty much just making sure your basic needs are being met so you can make healthy decisions. And please stands for. So PL means treating physical illness. For example, taking your meds or visiting the doctor. E stands for eating a balanced diet. So mental health disorders can make it difficult to eat healthy meals on a regular day basis, which is very true. A, avoid mind-altering substances, which can keep you from using coping skills effectively. S is get enough sleep. So find a healthy balance in sleep to give your mind the best chance at emotional regulation. E is get regular exercise. It can treat underlying illness, regulate sleep patterns, and improve emotions. So it's just a reminder to take care of yourself. The next skill I want to tell you about is TIP. It is pretty much changing your body's chemistry. It is a way to decrease extreme emotions fast. So this is when your emotions are at a higher level. Remember that scale I was telling you about, the 1 to 10? So if you're higher on that scale, you want to do TIP. So the T stands for tip the temperature of your face with cold water to calm down fast. So hold your breath, put your face in a bowl of cold water, or hold a cold pack on your eyes and cheek. Hold for 30 seconds. Keep water above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I stands for intense exercise. It is to calm down your body when it's revved up by emotions. So engage in intense exercise if only for a short while. Expend your body's stored up physical energy by running, walking fast, jumping, playing basketball, lifting weights. And P, you can pace your breath or paired muscle relaxing or paired muscle relaxation. So pace breathing is just continuing to like deep breathe slowly. So taking a deep breath in very slowly and exhaling out very slowly. The paired muscle relaxation is taking each muscle and tensing it and then letting it go. So like take your left calf tense it and let it go and then do the same to your right calf and then let it go and then do it with both of them and then let it go and do that to your entire body and then lastly tense your entire body and then let it go it is actually very calming i will link that in the description box down below as well the next one is check the facts so when we are in a very depressive state if something's causing it then we need to check the facts and make sure we are right about our feelings. And we don't want to assume, we want to check the facts and make sure what we know is actually correct. The way we see things can actually trigger emotions. So it has to be this way, don't line up with reality. We are not always in control. So events equal thoughts equal emotions. That's what people think happen. But emotions actually have effect on thoughts about emotions. So it's actually more like events affect emotions which affect our thoughts. So examine our thoughts and checking the fact can change our emotions. So kind of remember the whole a thought is a thought, a fact is a fact, and an emotion is an emotion. I hope that helps and explains it. So just make sure what you are upset about and depressed about is actually fact. And the next one is opposite action and pretty much that is doing the opposite of what you are feeling. So if you are feeling fear and you want to run away, approach. If you are angry and you want to attack, gently avoid. 
If you are feeling shame and you want to hide, talk to somebody. If you are sad and want to withdraw, get active. So you saw me actually do that earlier when I wanted to just stay in bed and not do anything, but instead I got up, I showered, I painted my nails, I listened to music, I actually really tried with my coping skills. So that's actually opposite action. As always, Distract is on here. You guys know all about distraction. I've talked about it all the time. Just distracting yourself with things that you like to do, any hobbies that you like. You can do any activities, music, playing a game, writing poetry, journaling, watching a movie, watching TV, going for a walk, exercising, you name it. Distract yourself. Accumulating positive emotion, we've talked about a little bit in the short term is to do pleasant things. So I gave you guys the positive music playlist and that is a big one. I also have written down right here positive activities we could do for to boost our positive emotions. So things like go for a walk, lay in a hammock and just enjoy the outdoors, listen to music, write poetry, you can YouTube, do makeup if you're a girl, draw, you can write a book or work on a book if you write, you can journal, you can scrapbook, you can talk to somebody, you can watch TV, watch a movie, plan, meditate, do yoga, hiking, Light candles if you love candles. Do a journal prompt book. I have one of those and it is incredible. So it looks like this and it has these prompts in it. It has 300 of them. One of them says, how do you soothe yourself when you're upset? Write about a time you broke something. Write about the most recent skill you've acquired. It's actually pretty cool. You can read, learn a new language have some coffee or tea outside, make a routine list and check it off. It's actually very satisfying to have a list and check things off. Those are some things you can do to boost positive emotions within yourself for the short term. Last but not least, there is something I want you guys to do and it is to make a A to Z thankful for list. So you are going to write the letters A through Z in a row like in a, like down and then on each letter beginning with that corresponding letter write what you're thankful for and for example i'll give you mine so a i wrote my audience slash acdc you can write as many as you want b bon jovi i'm still working on it c my cat candles and christmas d deaf leopard dance and my dad E, electronic. F, family and friends. G, Guns N' Roses and Garth Brooks. H, home and Halloween. I, is Italy. You guys get it, right? Okay, so that's what you do. So try that. I think you guys will really like it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will use these. I hope it helps somebody because these skills are my most used skills when it comes to group therapy and my, my therapy in general. So I wanted to share them with you guys. And to let you know that as an update with what happened yesterday and how I was feeling, I, I feel a lot better. I'm doing all right. Thank you. I'm doing all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.